has affected many of us and probably people who watch this video. Some people might be bullies and some people may not. Today I'll be discussing statistics by professional people that study bullying itself. Alright, let's continue. 28% of students through grades 6 through 12 will have the victims have been victims of bullying. And 70% of students have witnessed bullying behavior. Now there's different types of bullying, Verb verbal bullying, cyberbullying, abuse, and there's some people that hit you, and that's bullying as well, and mock you, and disgrace your mothers and kick, and they will say, I will kick your mother or your grandfather's grave with my butte. This is my book for knowing this because I can't really remember. On the way. Anyway, here's some verbal abuse. Spreading rumors, yelling of obscenities, yelling mockeries to them in every little way. That is horrible. Never accept that. Don't ever let them do that to you. And, te and teasing. That's just natural. Anyway, this is some things that can come into you by being bullied. And if you're sensitive, this is okay. Everyone gets sensitive when they're first in puberty. I pull sensitive sometimes as well. Natural teenagers will get sensitive at one point. Because we're absorbing everything up here that it doesn't matter what we think. We know, I know now that everything will get better. You know, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel and not in that way. You know, there's always a bright side to everything. You can make some, you can learn from this experience and go to someone else so they can build, you know, and they don't have to go through it what you do. You can just show them now that, you know, I went through it, I handled it, you can do it as well. Anyway, the cause these things like you search low self esteem, depression, anxiety, and sometimes su suicidal thoughts. Last week I discussed suicide, but I don't think I was doing because I didn't do this system. Now I I write everything right here. You know, it's not a script, but my train of thought goes everywhere. And here's what I'm writing with, but that's. Alright, then down. So let me discuss a little bit of suicide. It is not particularly something I like to discuss because it's recently it has affected me and my friends, so I cannot really discuss it without feeling really sad because it's someone I knew recently did that, and it's really sad. But, you know, suicide is painful, not just for you. You know, you could think. My pain's going away, but think about the pain you would be building to your loved ones. The ones you didn't want them to get hurt by. You know, they're not, they're always going to think about you and knowing that you're gone. And they can imagine that, and your parents will be like, my baby did that to herself. The one I had in my womb for nine months. You know, that's just horrible. And, you know, it's not fair for everyone. It's not fair to you. That you felt like you had to do that, and it's not fair that you decided you wanted to take your own life. It's a horrible thing that we should never do. Well, anyway, now we're going to discuss how to deal with it. Suicide, uh, no, <sighs> sorry. Dealing with bullying can be simply, is simply easy to deal with. Realize that. He might. He has the. He's in charge of you, because you're get, you're showing him weakness. Never show them weakness. You can be in charge as well. You can be the one that says no. You can have a friend out there who's like, you ain't gonna talk to my friend like that again, or I'll show you. I'll show you pain. You know, do what you gotta do, in real life. People, your parents will tell you don't fight. Don't if you don't unless you don't have to, but if you feel like that this is the only way to show them what's up, you show them what's up. I'm sorry, it's the truth. That's one way to deal with it. Go to a counselor and or go to a counselor and be like, I'm being bullied. And if that doesn't work, go to your parents. If that doesn't work, go to your go to their parents. And if that doesn't work, that's when you get to the show them what's up. Or 
If that still doesn't work, try to get transferred to a different school. And maybe, just maybe you won't get bullied anymore. People, you get more friends. People like you more. I'm not saying you did anything wrong with the other school. It's just maybe that you weren't fit in with the right crowd there. And you found better people to hang out with. And people that always have your back. Anyway, uh, I'm going to have to end Siri. Series Sunday number two. This is I'm currently recording this on Thursday, September twenty fourth. This will come out on the twenty seventh. So I hope you guys have a lovely weekend. Uh, I'm probably in bed right now, getting ready for school. You know, let's see how that goes. And this has always been lasting twenty eight. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.